What's going on YouTube? Wanted to make a quick video to uh, show you guys what the new Top Step dashboard looks like. I'm going to walk through some of the key benefits that I found using the platform and just show you overall what it looks like. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First off, this is more or less the email that um, I think you'll get. This is the email that I got that says, hey, we're going to add you to the new dashboard. Basically saying, you know, that we're trying out this new technology and we want you to be part of the test phase and we're probably going to roll this out later this year. They outline a few benefits in the email, um, you know, of, of what you get when you move to the dashboard. You know, the reset bank, kind of cool, but really what I was excited for was the real time trade processing. Currently how it works with top step is you can go throughout a trading day and you know, let's say you finished trading at 9 AM. You wouldn't be able to see the key stats of your dashboard until later that evening. But now with real time trade processing, let's say you, you know, made a trade early in the morning, you can within seconds go into the dashboard and see that trade reflected. Um, so I think that's really cool. You don't have to wait until the very end of the day to see, you know, what your PL was or different stats or to just really monitor your progress. You can see it in real time. It's super beneficial for the trader. The next thing that I really like is the instant payout deductions. I actually had uh, an experience where I requested a payout. Um, it took two days to get approved. It did, but only on some of my accounts. And so it took three more days for the other accounts to, to get approved. And as many of you know, you're not supposed to trade until those funds are deducted and it's approved. Um, I lost out on maybe three to five days, which I mean, adds up as a trader. If you're doing this for, for your full time or for income, you know, three to five days, that's that's enough to, to get an additional payout. And so instant payout deductions is awesome. Basically, as soon as you see the money deducted from your account, you can continue trading. Now, I wanted to make a quick point that it doesn't necessarily mean you get paid immediately. It just means that that money will be taken out of your balance. You can continue trading and you'll likely get paid within, at my experience has been about 24 hours. Uh, but I think contractually they have up to seven to 10 days to actually pay you that money. Um, if you ever have any issues, I've had to reach out to support before. They're really good um, at answering questions and being very transparent. And one thing with Top Step is they always pay. Um, there's firms out there that maybe have built up a reputation where they don't like to pay traders. Well, Top Step is kind of you know, in a whole different category, in my opinion, they always pay. They're one of the oldest firms in the industry and they have a great rep reputation. So instant payout deductions are a really cool feature. The next feature that I was excited about um, was the resets, extend, rebuild dates. It just becomes a bit um, monotonous to go in and have to cancel accounts as you near a rebuild date. And so for those of you that are taking the full 30 days to pass a combine, you don't have to go in there and, and cancel and add new ones. This will just automatically change your next rebuild date to 30 days from the reset. So it's essentially a new account. But yeah, that, that was basically the email that I got from them top to bottom. And then let's dive in and see more or less what the dashboard looks like. And so what you're looking at here is just my uh, true dashboard. I started um, uh, some combines earlier this last week and ended up passing a set. And so now you can see uh, here's five express accounts. I've just been copy trading them. So they're all running the same PL. Um, so I made $200 in the first day and a little more than 200. So I've got two of my five days needed for a payout. And that's across five accounts. So yeah, it's starting to add up. But you can see as I start to click through some of this, I mean, it loads really quick. It's a slick website, um, especially compared to the old dashboard. I think in my experience, I had times where it was freezing on me or I couldn't get it to refresh where this is, is very user friendly. Once I get some more data in here, I can select dates. Maybe let's just do that. Let's look at the 24th was my first day on this. And you can see on that day, I had an 83% win rate. The average winning trade was 36 and average losing trade is 56. So that's that's something for me to watch and look at that. Hey, on this day, my loser was actually quite quite a bit higher than my winning trade. Um, and I would want to dive in and maybe go and look at those trades a bit more and figure out, hey, did I have a really big loss that ended up skewing this? Did I not have my stop loss moved up to a point where, where it would have protected me? Like, what can I do as a trader to, to get this? really flipped. You'd rather have an average winning trade of 56 and an average loss of 36. That's sustainable and that's profitable. Now it's important to point out you can be profitable um, at this level. And historically my trading has been 
this way. I run, I run a higher win rate. I actually do run a negative reward to risk ratio at times, depending on, on the setup and the week and the trades that I take, but really cool that you can dial into a specific day and see stats for that trade day. Um, if I go back to just the two days that I have in this account, you see my highest day is $460, lowest day, 200 best day was 250. And so the current streak is two days. And so over time, you know, as I, I have the personal goal to try and take these accounts to a live account, you know, these stats will become more meaningful and we'll be able to, to track them on a more consistent basis. Over here, you can see that, you know, you can go to your profile and just update your name, billing address, things like that. Uh, billing is uh, just inputting your credit card information or where you want to, you know, pay for these accounts. Um, the next thing I'll click on is accounts. And so you can see here's my set of evaluations. They actually has them saved. I didn't realize that. And so I think we can go in and analyze those. And so you can see stats and i could probably go through and show you each of these trades i haven't seen this before so i'm just gonna go through it with you the overview if i go to click on mnq my average p l was 392 dollars does show the fees and commissions which is nice it's good to be transparent on that a lot of traders are missing that like really pay attention to the fees especially in prop firms where this is all a simulation like some companies charge double the fees and it's kind of shady um but transparency is key here just so you can see that as a consumer and know what that is but 393 pnl high low average winning trade is 56 and so i don't think i don't think i took a lot of trades with the mnq if i go to es looks like i took oh looks like i took seven trades with the mnq seven with the s uh, but the majority of my trade to try and pass this account was was done in, with the full contract NASDAQ, the NQ. And so I took a total of 13 trades and that made up 2,260 of my profits. ES was 450 and the MNQ was 393. So each each contract in you know, this evaluation was profitable, but I would be interested to see these stats for a funded account. I mean, this is just an evaluation. I personally trade my evaluations a bit more aggressively because my goal is just to pass those. But let's go back here and let's see if we can see my stats for my funded accounts. And so here we go. You can see I've only traded micros in these accounts. I'm trying to keep it really small in the beginning stages of this new account. And so overall, I've taken 24 trades. It's a total of 40 contracts. I typically do anywhere from one to five MNQ or MES, and I'm scaling you know, out as I reach certain profit targets, usually 10 to 15 points um, in profit, I'll start to, to scale some off. But again, nice to see the fees listed. And so the high is 271, the low is 20. And so my average winning trade is $36. Average losing trade is 56. If I go just to the MNQ, you can see the specific stats for just that contract and then just for the micros. Now, what I want to see is my loss. Where did, I'm looking over here in this profit column, and there's, see, here's the skew. And so on Friday of last week, I had one trade that was a $100 loss where you can see, here's my average profit is 18, 42, 29, 28. You know, you see on average, those wins are half or less of this loss. And so it's really skewing it. Um, as I grow this account, you know, a hundred dollar loss really is going to be immaterial. I think over time, as I start to scale up and have some more buffer in these accounts, my ratio will start to work itself out. Um, I'm very confident with my win rate, but it's again, it's all relative to your risk reward ratio. So you have to keep, keep that in perspective. Now let's go back. So really cool. Let's say, for example, if I was trading all these accounts separately, I wasn't copying them like you could you could play with different strategies within an account and say, in this account, I'm only going to trade, you know, breakouts or in this account, I'm only going to trade the Globex session. You can go in here and actually name the account, um, you know, whatever you want that account to be in the actual uh, Project X trading 
uh, site. But if you did that, you could track the stats for different strategies that you wanted to monitor over time. And again, this is all real time. Like the the main benefit of all these these changes on the dashboard is that it's a real time reflection of your your trading PL. Now, payouts, uh, haven't gotten to that point. Again, I'm only two out of five days, but it's really slick from uh, other videos I've seen. You can just, you know, request it and it's within seconds, it's deducted from, from your account balance and you can continue trading. Um, achievements, you can see, you know, here's my five uh, certificates of passing the trading combine, um, but kind of cool. And then just access to the help center over here. But yeah. Uh, really cool overall. I think the only other thing you can highlight, I mean, you can make it full screen, you can change it from darks, dark to light, but overall very happy with the platform in general and uh, excited to update you on my next payout. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I ask that you please like it, subscribe, um, show me support in the comments. And if there's anything I can do for you guys, feel free to reach out. Thanks.